My name's Cole Thompson, and I'm out with Don Rice in Inwood Hill Park today. It's May of 2013, and we're about to go on a tour looking for the forgotten springs and wells of Inwood Park. Right behind me is one of the last known springs that's coming out of the ground here. Uh, this area used to be called Chiracapac when the uh, Indians were here, and after that it was actually known as Cold Spring because there were beautiful cold springs that just flowed out of the hills. And one of the things we're going to do this morning is we're going to hike up that way into Inwood Hill Park and we're going to look for some forgotten wells and hopefully we'll find some. Now one important thing to remember about the Inwood Park area, once called Cold Spring, because of the Cold Spring that was once here, is that this, this soccer field, this former Gaelic field as they called it, when this was a heavily Irish community, was all water. There was a boat basin here. This is all landfill from subway digs. And right over there, by the plaque that marks the tulip tree, lived a man named Pop Seely. And Pop Seely ran a boathouse and a concession stand. And the cold water from the cold spring, which attracted anglers, cut into Pop's soda sails. So Pop Seely, sometime around the turn of the century, much to the chagrin of the neighborhood, poured concrete into the spring and plugged it up. It was cold spring no longer. One of the things we're going to be using today as a guide to our, to our adventure into the park are the writings of a man named James Rule Smith. In the 1890s, Smith rode around Manhattan on his bicycle, taking photographs and writing detailed descriptions, sometimes even maps, of wells that were still existing, but quickly fading in Manhattan. And thanks to him, we know where some of these wells are. Let's go. Another interesting geological formation in Inwood Hill Park are the glacial potholes formed when the glaciers ret retreated more than 10,000 years ago. They also seem to be a source of water. Water always seems to be rising from them, doesn't seem to be coming from above. It's not rainwater. When I first moved to the neighborhood, somebody had put goldfish in one of these holes. And it's not just the big one that everyone sees. There are several other smaller potholes on the hill, and one that appears to be even slightly larger. But it's just hard to get to. Anyway, onward and forward. Let's look for the wells. Yeah, here we go. All right, we're on top of the ridge now. We're about to explore well number one. The approach is that way. Here we go. Let's do it. Stop. Yep. Look at that. That is oh a very well made well. What do you think, Don? This is probably built for a private residence? Yeah, it's kind of hard to see down in it. It's dark. I think the, it looks like the Parks Department has moved this uh, tree over it partly and balanced it on some sticks. Okay. Let's see if we can well, actually. If, if it's hard to look in there, why don't we go to night vision? Yeah, all right. Night vision on. Let's look in there. Late. Some mortar. Looks like some found rocks. This goes down about four or five feet before it fills up with sediment. Very interesting. There we have it. Well number one. Paved with a field stone around a circle. It's a very circular thing. It looks like it's a eight or ten feet deep. It'll be deeper. That's before you get to the fill. Guessing that when uh, Robert Moses cleared all this, put in the West Side Highway, tore down the institutions, bulldozed everything, that uh, this didn't get filled in for some reason. Maybe because it's not easy to see. It's off the path and it's. Uh, kind of out of sight, out of mind.
here we are looking for more uh, wells, even just storage cisterns for uh, rainwater uh, up on the hill. And uh, I've got one here for you. It's actually in good shape because see, by, the, by uh, midsummer, it'll be totally covered with poison ivy and veg other vegetation and vines. So uh, here we are in the first week of May, and we can actually see this cistern. Uh, let's take a look. It's filled in, but you can really see the outline of, uh, of the circular opening. It's brick lined on the inside. This actually looks like later construction from, from the well we saw earlier. Because these almost look like they could be, uh, oh, what kind of bricks are these? But you can see if we were to take a look on the inside, you can see the whole interior is lined with brick like it's a holding tank, maybe for rainwater. It could have been sluicing in from uh, the top of a building, from gutters or something, to use for uh, doing uh, the daily wash, the weekly washing. Well, Don, what do you say we put it on night vision and see if we can get in there and see what it looks like? Yeah, I think that's a great idea, Cole. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Just way behind the, uh, the entrance to the well. Yeah. You can see it's pretty pretty wide. It all it opens up like it opens up, a, opens up like a jug almost. Yeah. So it's hard to say if this was a well or a cistern, but it was definitely made made for holding water. Oh, that's just fascinating. Totally. What do you think? Three feet around? Yeah. Well, let's see. Yeah, that looks like it's probably about three feet around. Cool. Anyway, so where are we off to next? Uh, we've got another well to show you. And it's it's not too far from here, is it's it? It's not too far from here. It should be just a minute or two's walk down this path. Shall we try it? See if we can find it? Can't always find it. <laughs> but let's, this is... Let's do it! All right. Hey, come on, Cole. I found it. You this found is, another well? This is, yeah. Oh, this will be the well number three. This, this is, is well number three, or at least well number two. Is very this, cool, this very cool. Take a look down. Oh, this is off the path. This is oh, actually wow. showing very well today. Round. Oh, wow. this, we've actually seen water in this from time to time. Square concrete cover. Bricked. But round field stone on the inside. About eight feet deep. Filled with rubble. Can you see it? I can. This one's better lit than the last one. Yeah. We have the morning sun go heading right in. Looks like it has a square cover on it. Yeah, it does look like a square cover. It's very well built. I have no idea how what the date of these any of these wells is, truly speaking. But this one and the first one seem to be a little older. I, if I were guessing, I'd say this would be younger than the cistern, or older than the cistern, but younger than that really big old well with the tree stump over it. Uh, why am I basing it on this? I think that this is in better condition. It's less rustic. And it's been maintained with some concrete coating over the field stone that, that, that's still there. Makes you wonder whose well this was. Doesn't it? Well, the mystery continues. We'll, we'll get to the bottom of this. All right, do we have any other wells to see? Unless we stumble on one, I think we've seen what we've came to come to see. Well, maybe somebody watching this will know of another well. Yeah. And we'll, Let us know. We'll have even more. All right, well, thanks for joining us.